flu season. A lot of you are probably either getting better now or just getting sick. And I don't personally, I don't think that it's normal that one individual person gets sick every two or three months. I don't think that's healthy, no matter how much they say that they're healthy and they're golden. Being healthy is hard, but keeping your immune system at a even keel will be better than going up and down sick and not sick and your body just gets so tired. I've been there, done that, have so many allergies. I got tested, I got desensitization um, shots due to my asthma and allergies. And since then, going up and down sick and not sick, trying to get sick for like months on end was taking a toll on my body. And since then, well, most especially now that I'm taking care of my dad who is old, He's 81 and going through dialysis and more susceptible to a lot of diseases, especially communicable diseases such as the regular cold. I've become more, a little bit more aware um, with my body and how it reacts to certain triggers or allergens or knowing when to stop when I feel like my immune system is low. So drinking tea is one of the things that I usually do. I don't usually like green tea only because it has caffeine and it keeps me up all night. Uh, I usually like ginger tea or fruit teas um, that have good benefits. Usually ginger tea because it keeps me warm. Um, it just has this warmth to it that keeps me warm. I'm always cold. Uh, people complain that I'm always cold. What can I do? That's just me. And so here are several tips as to how you should fight or allow your body to heal if your immune system is low. So tips on how to stay awake aware of your surroundings and alive that your body won't get too tired trying to keep fighting the same fight or not win at all. So here it is. Kona's getting anxious, so enjoy. If you're feeling under the weather, try drinking more water and citrusy drinks such as lemon and orange. If that doesn't help, try eating some hot soup, pho, ramen, or the like. If not, take a breather outside and Breathe in the fresh air. Inhale, exhale. Try cleaning your house and doing all the laundry to rid yourself of the germs. Don't forget to clean your workspace too. Every day is better than never. Ew, can you imagine how dirty your desk can be if you don't clean it at all? If it helps, be courteous and get a mask. I got this one from Amazon. So you can wear your mask so when you cough it's readily available to cover your cough or you can also wear mittens so if you get cold easily like myself it'll help you stay warm or even earmuffs even if you look a little weird and if for some reason you're unable to wash your hands make sure that you have hand sanitizer readily available in your purse so this is just a regular hand sanitizer bottle that i've taken the label off of and I'm using one of these pink little handles that you can hang on to um, either your purse or your belt whichever you want um, just so your hand sanitizer is handy for you to grab whenever you need to wash your hand or sanitize your hand if a water faucet is too far out of reach. Now here's how you wash your hands. Grab some soap, rub your hands together, rub 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 then you rinse it. They say it's best to grab a paper towel, dry your hands, turn off the water, and use that same paper towel to open the door handle. If you can, stay away from crowds of people. Be smart like this pigeon. No matter how cold it is and how warm you feel after a shot of whiskey, stay away. Stock up on lemon so you can use it with tea or just drink it straight up cucumbers or zucchini because they're packed with water kiwi also a good source of vitamin c tea obviously we've discussed this already and green leafy vegetables also honey Or if you don't have a handkerchief, cough on the inside of your shirt, on the inside of your elbow, or better yet, just wear a mask so you can cover everything and you're courteous to others. So handkerchiefs, 
are great. If you can't get one, I'll buy one for you, but you'll probably feel offended anyway. So you can use a tissue, throwaway tissue is what they always say is best. I feel like that's waste, a waste of money, but if you really don't have a handkerchief, then a throwaway tissue might be best, and we can just toss it away and throw away the germs. These are just the things that I've been doing myself, and I've noticed that have helped a lot in making me feel better faster. Honey is good to coat your throat, especially if you are feeling a tickle coming on. So when you have that itchy feeling, sometimes you have itchy eyes or itchy nose from the allergens and then you start to feel your throat tickle. Um, coating it with honey, or I usually just down two teaspoons of honey and let it sit and just let it go down naturally and it'll supposedly coat your throat. So if you talk a lot, like I do all day, every day, um, this trick helps me to not just make my throat worse, but also coat it and protect it from getting, hopefully feeling better. Also, the key with honey is to, according to articles I've read, is to buy honey that has been made from bees that live around your area because most likely they would pollinate the trees that are around your area that is causing your allergens to flare up. So um, the best way to use honey as an anti, um, antibody. The best way to use honey as an antihistamine. The best way is to choose honey that has been made locally, local to your neighborhood, if at all possible. And if after three days all that still doesn't do a thing, try sleeping or calling your doctor, make an appointment. Thanks for watching.